Hi there, thanks for joining us on TCM. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. We're gaining steam with a marathon of movies showcasing our star of the month, David Niven. Up next, Niven stars as a frustrated father trying to contend with not one but two progressive daughters in the 1960s. From MGM in 1968, it's the aptly named comedy The Impossible Years. A movie about fatherhood called The Impossible Years must mean the two daughters in question are teenagers. Most parents clash with their kids at some point. Won't happen with my daughter. Luckily for her, she has the greatest father in the world, so I expect, you know, clear sailing. What could go wrong? But back in the 60s, there was a colossal generation gap with parents born before or during the Depression raising teens who were coming of age during the sexual revolution. In the impossible years, David Niven plays a highly respected psychiatrist working at a university. His specialty is adolescent problems, so it hits home for him when his 17-year-old daughter is arrested for protesting on the university's campus. It's one of those stories where a character can take care of other people's problems with ease, but struggles mightily to deal with his own. The Impossible Years is based on a Broadway play written by Bob Fisher and Arthur Marks, the son of Groucho Marks. In addition to Niven as the flummox to dad, the film also stars Lola Albright as Niven's wife and newcomer Christina Ferrare as the rebellious oldest daughter. The movie also features the last big screen performance of Ozzie Nelson, arguably the most famous dad in America, thanks to his real life family's hit TV sitcom, The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet. From director Michael Gordon in 1968, here's David Niven in The Impossible Years. 